Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create audiences of people that have spent the most amount of time on your website. Obviously, this tends to create high quality art audiences, retargeting audiences, or look like audiences because if somebody spends a lot of time on your website, they're obviously interested in what you have to offer. So anyway, here we are in our Facebook Ads Manager and we need to go to Business Tools up here and we wanna to go to Audiences. And then what we wanna go ahead and do is create an audience here and custom audience. And for our sources, we wanna go ahead and select website because we're tracking people on our website. So select that option here. So include people who meet any or all of the following criteria. We're gonna go with any right now. Go ahead and select your source, which is your demo account. And then we have our events here. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and select visitors by time spent. So we'll select that option. And now it gives us a few different options. So percentile, so this is the top 25% of people that have spent time on your website, the top 10%, the top 5% and so on. So obviously, you know, the longer people spend on your website, the higher the quality. So, you know, 5% would be the highest quality of, you know, retargeting audience or for a seat audience for a look like audience. However, it's probably gonna be smaller. So you gotta take that into account. What's more important, size or quality? And that really depends on how much traffic is coming to your website. If you have, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, you could probably go smaller. Whereas if you have, you know, a few hundred people or whatever, a few thousand people a month, well then you want to probably go with the top 25%. And then we have retention here. So this is how long somebody will stay in this custom audience. So you want to, you know, keep people on there for seven days, 30 days, 180 days, etc. You can go ahead and change that right here. You know, typically a good retargeting audience is about seven days in there because, you know, within seven days they'll have either opted into an email list or bought something from you or something like that. And really, if they haven't done something with you in seven days, the likelihood they're going to do something with you, you know, drops off dramatically. But again, it depends on your business and how you're structured and all that type of stuff. But we'll go with seven days for this example. We could also go ahead and set up specific websites or web pages that somebody might be on. So maybe you want people that are on your sales page or something to that effect. You want to go ahead and create an audience of people that have spent a large amount of time on your sales page. Or maybe you have videos on a page and you want people or you want to you want to build an audience of people that spent a lot of time watching those videos on that page you could go ahead and you know include the URL here so URL contains or does not contain or equals and you could go ahead and you know plug that in here so for example my join page or the link my page that contains the word join in it is my main sales page so I could create an audience of people that you know spent the most amount of time on my join page. So there we go. And then we could get a little bit more specific with inclusions and exclusions and and also's, but that, that goes beyond the scope of this video. Uh, my, my word of advice is to not get too narrow or your audiences will be too small and really your retargeting or your look like audiences won't be very effective. So be, ca be cautious using these options unless you have a lot of traffic and or know what you're doing. So then we'll come on down here to audience name now and we'll just say, and I call that top 25% of time on join page, seven days. And we could add an optional description as well so we get a little bit more details. Then we go ahead and create the audience there. And then it says you can create a lookalike or create an ad and all this other stuff. We'll just hit done for now. And so that's pretty much it. Now, of course, I could go ahead and use this audience for retargeting or creating lookalike audiences and all that type of stuff. And I have other videos on those topics if you're interested in that. Link in the descriptions down below. Other than that, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.